about what about somebody who uh, lifts weights? Um, can you speed up muscle recovery uh, by diet? I think that the kind of diet I'm talking about will speed up muscle recovery. Yes, it will. It will happen faster. Uh, the use of, of of special supplements is a kind of a controversial area. I think that the greatest supplement there is our is our testicle capsules. I mean, there, there's a question here too about what about steroids and testosterone. Well, obviously, I'm against steroid use. Testosterone. Uh, when people are low on testosterone, it, it appears that testosterone, uh, even injections with the with the MD, can can have benefits in certain cases and and, and provide provide help for people. Um, I think that there may be better ways to do it. Um, there's a little bit of natural testosterone in testicles, and, and our testicles are prepared from organic animals, organically raised grass-fed animals in New Zealand. So it's a reasonable way to get a little amount, a small amount of testosterone in a food. Um, exercise itself stimulates testosterone production, and the kind of diet I'm talking about naturally stimulates testosterone production in the body because you, you're basically you've got the precursors. Critical thing for testosterone pr production is cholesterol. Cholesterol is the precursor of all the sex hormones, including testosterone. So the notion that a low cholesterol diet is good for you is absolutely malarkey, absolutely a product of the drug company's desire to sell a lot of drugs and the medical doctors who unfortunately have gone along with it because they've been more or less brainwashed by uh, uh, inaccurate, deliberately inaccurate literature. All right, so testosterone, uh, a good cholesterol-rich diet with lots of quality animal foods will help optimize testosterone production in both men and women. Women need lots of testosterone, well, a smaller amount, but women need testosterone too, and they'll make it in their bodies with the help of the right foods. What about joint maintenance? Joint maintenance becomes more of an issue for endurance athletes because they're using the same joint over and over. Um, glucosamine chondroitin is a great supplement to help that. It contains nutrients that actually feed the joints. Uh, cod liver oil is a great supplement because it regulates mineral metabolism, and mineral metabolism is one of the keys to healthy joints. Our CalMag hydroxyapatite, the calcium hydroxyapatite is actually from the joint tissue of organically raised animals, and it contains not only the calcium, but the, ca the protein matrix that the calcium naturally occurs in, in the animal's joint. And that literally feeds the joints in a way that's very helpful for the joints. So joint maintenance there, you know, th it, there's a tie-in with nutrition. But very important, too, is some good common sense about how strenuously and how much to use the joints. You know, if it hurts, rest it. There's, there's a time, the, the rest portion of, of growing stronger is critical. Every time you exercise, you get weaker. You wear the muscle out and when you finish, you're weaker. And if you give it enough time to recover before you work out again, you are stronger than you were before the last workout. If you work out before that recovery is finished, you're weaker than before the last workout and you keep getting weaker every time you do that and eventually you break down. It happens to some of the greatest athletes in the world. It happened to Rafael Nadal, a great tennis star, over the last couple of years and he basically took two or three months off and I'm happy to say it came back a month ago and he's better than ever because he rested. He was smart enough to rest. The reason he's so smart about it at 24 years old, he's got a family, an extended family that lives more or less traditionally in uh, Spain and I think he's probably listening to his grandmother and not the doctors that are uh, telling him the wrong things. Do you have any uh, different recommendations for those of us over 55? It gets harder as you get older to maintain. So it's more important, and it gets also it gets harder to reverse problems when they do occur. So it becomes really more important to, to be careful with diet and to not sort of put off taking care of yourself. You know, when I was 30, I would take a handful of vitamins before I went out drinking, okay? Because I figured, well, <laughs> got to make up for the drinking. And, when I really get it together, the vitamins will enable me to survive long enough so that when I really decide to get it together, I'll still be around. If I knew I was going to live this long, I would have taken better care of myself, like David Crosby says. But the point is, as you get older, you need to, you need to pay more attention to just maintaining. And you need to be able, to, you need to settle for a little bit less. And, 
and to come to understand the value of rest, that you don't really have to do it every day, that sometimes it's better to take a nap than take a walk. Um, special nutrition, be sure to get to emphasize the quality animal fats as you get older. It becomes more and more important to, um, to get those critical nutrients. It's, it's the animal fats and, of course, in supplements, the organs and glands and the cod liver oil and the butter oil that become uh, critically important in really in, in um, holding off aging and in, in uh, uh, preventing chronic problems from occurring. Anybody else? Yes, so, you mentioned te your testicle product. If a woman is in training and they want to increase their stamina, can they take your testicle product without there being any uh, after effects or any conditions? Testicle is actually a wonderful supplement for both men and women. Um, low testosterone as women uh, get older is, is a, a well documented and the use of extra testosterone, even, even prescription wise, has been shown to have all kinds of benefits for women as they age. So using, and traditionally, using, using testicle from animals is something that both women and men have used in traditional societies. So, and I, I, we've had a few women who, who use testicle in, uh, in their supplement program uh, to great benefit. So, uh, so I think that it's perfectly reasonable. I recommend Dr. Ron's testicles. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really going in there, is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's going on there. Okay, we, is that a wrap? <laughs>